name's Roger Moody, formerly apprentice apprentice in St. George's Street, City of London, but for these past 20 years I've been a soldier in His Majesty's 23rd Regiment of Foot, Royal Welsh Fusiliers, and I'm here with the rest of Lord Cornwallis's army trying to subdue rebellion in Virginia and restore lawful government, which we've been trying to do the last uh, six years since this rebellion broke out in 1775. I've never seen so many deluded people in my life. Uh, they live under the freest form of government that has yet been invented, and yet they claim they're being tyrannized. Uh, the ones there, there, there are many, many colonials that are loyal to the king, and rightly so. But um, they are, they're just misguided, and they'll come back to their senses, and that's why we're not trying to. Uh, to beat them into the ground. We're just trying to, um, to make them realize the, the folly and the error of their ways. Our troops' morale is superior to that of the rebels. We have defeated them every time they have dared to oppose us in arms. We whipped them at Guilford Courthouse, even though they outnumbered us two or three to one. We whipped them before at Camden. We captured one of their armies at Charleston. And as long as Lord Cornwallis is at our head, we will, we will defeat them any time they dare to stand against us. And this rightful um, government, they're subversives, they're terrorists, you know, and we want to, uh, to bring them back into the fold and make them realize their error. to win this war as quickly as possible so we can go home again. And uh, if anyone can do it, it's, it's Lord Cornwallis because there's not a more active general in the King's service. Um, it's been going on much too long. Uh, it's been going on almost eight years now and it's, it's qu it should have been quelled in the first six months. But uh, again, we, we decided to hit them and then back off and make them come to the senses, but they didn't do that. And that's kind of shocked us and surprised us. So, you know, it's gone on much too long and uh, hopefully, um, hopefully soon we will prevail.